What's up YouTube? I'm Dragon and you're watching Dragon Off-Road and today I wanted to talk to you guys about some of the gear that I'm taking overlanding. Uh, my friends and I, we're going out to Colorado, we're going to run some of the biggest, baddest trails out there, Imogene Pass, Black Bear, Ophir, Engineer, Poughkeepsie Gulch, California Pass, Corkscrew Pass, we're going to run all of them. we got 12 of them lined up and we're going to hit them all, we're going to be camping out uh, dispersed camping in the National Forest land, BLM land, while we're out there. So in this series, I just wanted to run through the gear that I'm going to be taking with me. Uh, I just got this new box for all my uh, overlanding kitchen supplies. So I just wanted to dive right into this. Uh, I picked this one out especially. It's got nice rugged wheels so you can carry it a good ways from your car through the forest to get to a really isolated and just very peaceful campsite, you know, far from the road and all the car noise and everything. Because um, you definitely don't want, you know, a Jeep parade going by your tent in the middle of the night with 40, 50 Jeeps with no mufflers and really bright headlights just <laughs> shining right through your tent wall. Uh, so I like to be about 100 feet from the road when I'm dispersed camping. And also I got this case because it's waterproof which is really nice. I could just leave it outside if it rained. I don't really have to worry about it as much. Uh, I used to have all this stuff in cardboard and you know as soon as that got wet it would be useless. So that uh, was a big upgrade. Uh, let's just pop this open and uh, see what all's in there. I got the like two burner Coleman camp stove strapped to the top. I've just got kind of a six bungee cord. Uh, fastening for that. Strapped it down in six places. Ah, I love this stove. It's all stainless. And I have stored my cast iron griddle inside of it. So I am always ready to make, you know, grilled sandwiches or sear some steaks and fish and chicken and just whatever. You kebab. It's ready for anything. This also fits on my propane fire pit that I made out of a little Weber grill. So this is just my main cooking surface here, this cast iron griddle. I've got my regulator inside, so that's always ready. And I'll put this away. Real quick, it's got the windscreen, it's stainless. I just love this thing. I've been using it for years and it's never let me down. Set that off to the side. I've got a nice, uh, I reuse wine bottles for drinking water and I reverse osmosis filter my own water uh, while I'm out there. I call it dragon water. So it's just a very pretty way to store your water and it doesn't matter if it gets uh, caught in the sun in a hot car, it won't get that plastic aftertaste that uh, plastic water bottles will put into your drinking water. Pop this bad boy open, see what all we got. Alright, so I got three propane tanks first thing and I got a refill adapter because you don't want to be paying five dollars a bottle for these things when you could be refilling them from your 20 pound propane tank. You'll end up spending about eighty dollars more uh, as opposed to refilling these because twenty of these would be about a hundred bucks but if you refill them twenty times with one twenty pound tank you're only spending twenty dollars so I'll take twenty dollars over a hundred dollars any day. And in addition to that fitting I've got a propane hose to one pound tank adapter so this allows me to use the stove off of a 20 pound tank uh, if I ever just if all these go empty and I don't feel like refilling them I can run the stove off my 20 pounder. So pull out this tray you see I've got all my silverware and just common utensils I've got a lot of lighters matches peeler little tongs a ladle and then I got four sets of silverware, some chopsticks, steak knives. I just keep all that really accessible. I've got a straw. Anyway, I want a straw. You know, it's good to have. Keep that out there. Now this is kind of like my core utensils. I use a lot of paper plates just to cut down on dishwashing, cutting board. This is a gray water uh, container. You just use it for pasta water and things like that. And when you're done cooking, then you take your water far away from your camp so you don't end up attracting any animals dumping it nearby. Uh, I've got napkins. I use that for cleaning most of the time. Just spray it down with some uh, sudsy water. I've got 
all my cleaning stuff inside. Uh, nice spray bottle with soap suds. Got a scraper wire brush for the griddle. Have a nice kitchen knife, very sharp. It's the only one I need. And a griddle uh, spatula, I guess you'd call that. Normal spatula. A honing iron for the knife. A lot of skewers for doing kebabs. Kind of a silicone tool for doing scrambled eggs, things like that. Uh, a lot of strainers for tea and, you know, whatever. I use those to get the wine cork out of my wine a few times. Little spoons and tongs. And I got two of these extendable skewers. These are really nice for grilling broths or marshmallows by the fire. And I've also got my salt and pepper shakers and a little teaspoon right there. So all that stays in the utensil box. Out of there. I'm really excited about how organized all this is. I'll just leave that out there. Kind of push those up to the side. Let's see. So I've got a lid for that griddle to keep the grease down when you're searing uh, meat on there. Nice, just iron skillet, stainless. And a three quart pot with some pot holders uh, so you don't burn your hands. Just got some mason jars for leftovers, storing food. And then finally, this is my cleaning box. So I've got some soap, uh, soapy water, some towels. Really, the napkins should go in there. I've got trash bags, aluminum foil, some Ziploc bags, toilet paper and some paper towels and just uh and this actually doubles as a sink so you can fill this up with soapy water and do dishes in it if you want to i usually just buff all my silverware and plates and stuff with uh napkins and that works pretty well with some soapy water so that's everything i got in here uh, i'll take you guys upstairs real quick and just show you my cooler and my little snack tote and my coffee tote as well just for the the hell of it that's all part of the kitchen experience so this is the bulk of it uh, this will do 99% of the things you want to cook at camp and just works really well for me I've used it in my little camper trailer that I built the dragon cabin uh, there's a video on that uh, you gotta check out there's, there's a few good videos on the dragon cabin but especially the tour video if you're interested in uh, building a cargo trailer conversion it'd be good to check that one out so let's run up there and check that out. I'll uh, put all this stuff away and teleport you guys up there. Alright, so this is my coffee tote. I'm just going to run through this real quick. It's kind of a nice old picnic basket. I keep a camp stove in there so I can just always have access to a burner and run one of these stovetop coffee makers. Uh, kind of an aluminum one and a bigger steel one. That's usually how I make coffee out on the trail. I got a couple mugs in there. Two of these Stanley thermoses, these are great for keeping drinks hot all day. Uh, a couple bags of coffee. A lot of napkins, some tea, water, and sugar in there. So just everything you need to uh, make coffee in the morning and out on the trail if you feel like it. Somebody. Alright, so this is my uh, Coleman thermoelectric camp cooler. It works great. It uh, takes about 60 watts to keep it running. Keeps things 40 degrees below the ambient temperature. So if it's uh, 70 in your car, it'll keep food around 30 to 40 degrees. Got plenty of space for a lot of drinks and OJ and milk and eggs and bacon and all the meat and all that. Uh, so no complaints about this. It is just kind of a pain having to keep it plugged in all the time, but I think it's a little better than having to buy ice. So, <laughs> you know, to each their own. I've got a 12 volt adapter so you can keep it plugged in in a hotel room while you're out on the road. And I've also got some koozies strapped on there because you always need koozies uh, right next to your cooler. So finally, we have my snack tote. It's got a lot of different snacks for the road. 
This is kind of just a snack bag that I keep in the car, very accessible, so I always have some food to eat. I don't get hangry while I'm driving. Little mini cakes, little crumb cakes, uh, potato chips, and a lot of dinner food too. I've got some freeze dried meals, some just stuff like side items, like these pasta sides, a lot of cliff bars, some olive oil, salt and pepper. Pickle relish, uh, tuna, some soup, cereal, mac and cheese, pasta. So enough food to keep me going for, you know, a few days. We're probably going to be resupplying every five days while we're out there. So this should uh, get me from place to place and just gives me a nice unified place to put all my food items, all my dry food. And then obviously all my cold food goes in the cooler, coffee goes in the coffee tote. And all the cookwares in that case you saw downstairs. So this is pretty much uh, my whole kitchen, pantry, all that. Uh, when I'm out on the road, works great and I have no complaints. So let's run back downstairs. I'll just do a little conclusion. So that's my whole camp kitchen setup when I'm out on the road overlanding. I'm going to be gone for about six weeks this time. So I like to cook a lot of good food while I'm out there. I don't like to leave, uh, leave anything behind or... You know, always leave no trace while you're out there camping. Uh, leave it just as beautiful for the next person to come along uh, to enjoy, just like you did. And, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Did I miss anything? Am I carrying way too much shit? I don't know. <laughs> leave a comment below, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, there will be plenty more content like this as uh, this trip progresses over the next six weeks. I'll try to share some tips that help me just be more efficient and uh, just better prepare it out on the trails. Always be prepared for a good time. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.